Hello and welcome! This is video dedicated to Fractured Online, sponsored by Gamigo. This is game available now on Steam and also on official website fracturedonline.com. All the links on this game you can find in my description below the video. And now let's see the gameplay and what is this Fractured Online? Well, there is a three races in this game, humans, wild folks and demons. What about demons on early access? It's not yet available, but it will be available soon. On whom to play? Of course you decide. In addition to race, you can also choose a character, namely his appearance and gender, including skin color and hair color. Which one you like, best on your which you will explore this world for yourself. You can also choose one of four classes, Gladiator, Bowman, Arcanist and Street Red. Each class has its own complexity, but at the same time its own interest. As soon as you appear, the tutorial will begin in front of you, which will teach you how to adapt to this world. Start from the beginning, how to move and how to hit. Check your video settings as needed. After that, you will have a task to study your first skills. It will depend on the class you have chosen. Once we have familiarized ourselves with the skills and select them, we save them for the further selection. Now let's get down to gathering. First you have to collect flex, and then make a linen wave and make a linen bandage from it. All this you can do from the crafting menu, which you need to get now better for the upcoming game. We will continue our training and this time we'll collect a tree and recycle our flex in order to make our first weapon, namely a belt, because we choose Bowman class. Now we know how to craft, let's start view the training, and this time we'll learn how our skill works on opponents, how to use our bow, as well as how to collect loot from monsters. Remember, when playing on the bow, you need to play according to the tactics hit and move, with a maximum kite. Also, do not forget that some of your skills have a passive ability, such as you can see the skill on air. These passive skills are very strong, which increase the damage of your auto attacks, which allow you to farm a really faster in multiply times. When we have collected enough meat and skins, we need to cook wolf meat from them. You can do this on any campfire, and we will also make leather armor after that. But for this, we'll process the wolf skin and then go to the machine to create our first time leather armor from the leather. It will increase your skills as well for PvE and for PvE. And when we finish all this, we have a real battle with the bandits to study the PvE system. Do not forget to inspect the killed monster and enemies in order to get something valuable from them. And also don't forget that you can get injured. For this, use the previously created Alien bandages. And also, do not forget that for killing each monster you get knowledge points, which are needed to study skills and passive abilities. When we have killed enough bandits, learn new skills that you have discovered by killing a certain type of bandit. There are a lot of skills in this game that need to be explored and discovered. Also, do not forget to discover passive abilities that are very important for example for the Bowman class is it dexterity and accuracy. It will increase our damage from attacks and abilities. We have completed the tutorial. Now we need to choose one of the two continents on which we're gonna play. Choose wisely, because your subsequent gameplay depends on it. After we have chosen a continent, you will appear in the first city for you. But do not be afraid, now you have a complete open world system in front of you. Exploring this world, collect the sources that you have not explored before, because for each new plant or monster species is found, you will receive knowledge points that are critically needed for studying the skills and passive abilities that we have talked about early. These plans are necessary for the subsequent crafting of potions, various kinds of armor and weapons, and also their enchantment, 
Collect everything, study, earn knowledge points for your character to be strong and kill higher level monsters. Also, do not forget to hunt the monsters that come your way in order to gain experience for unknown beasts or for loot that falls from them. You also need to visit your next city. Each city has its own system and its own level of crafting, so with this, visit the cities the more better for you and for searching of this world. Explore the open world further, meet new monsters in order to get loot from them, upgrade your belongings and weapons, get knowledge points and also discover some paths of monsters that are necessary for crafting amulets, rings or for unique armor paths. Open the hunt for monsters for their subsequent study, because the bestiary will open up before us which we need to study in order to understand the strong opponent in front of us, what skills he has, as well as immunity to what kind of weapons he has, his kind of origin and what a certain type of monster is, as well as where he's found. The same applies to resources. You can read more information about them in resources tab. So now, what about the armor study tree? The more you craft, a certain type of armor, the better, because you improve the quality of this armor, as well as the weapons. In other words, the more you craft armor and weapons, the better you will gain more experience for their subsequent crafting, as well as the strengthen their characteristic and strength, not that by improving the crafting of the initial type of weapon or armor, you will also strengthen the subsequent quality of other weapons. So now let's talk about how to get them out. For this we need to make a net trap of 5 ropes. And also put this net in our skill stuff. Find the any ores in the open world and try to catch. But remember that catching our first ores is not so easy. We will need to spend a lot of nervousness to catch our mount. But it's worth it because thereby we get a huge extra move in the open world. When we catch, study the ores in the inventory and it will be available for the few they use. And so, after a long walk through the open world, we found a camp with the bandits, from which we can get a huge amount of knowledge points, and also get gold. Gold is the currency of this world, to pay for crafting things or buying various kinds of armor, weapons, potions, mounts on the market. Use your new skills and abilities in the fight against them. Hit and run, and any camp of bandits will not be scary to you and the gold that you will find with them will only please. But also remember that no one promises you easy battles and easy loot. In addition to battles, do not forget to view bestiary, because with the killing of certain type of monsters, you will not only study their characteristics, as we said early, but also possible skills for personal use, thereby you can make yourself a very strong skill build. Explore the marketplace, where you can buy a lot of necessary things if you have a gold. 
as well as sell some rare items or items that you don't need at all. And finally, build your house. Your first house costs 4,000 gold. And remember that you can only have one house for the entire continent. So choose wisely where your house will stand and which city. Build a wagon in order to collect resources for your home, because you will not be able to move them manually without it. So it will be much easier for you to collect resources and build your house with it. Explore, collect, buy and sell. Open a monster hunt to build your dream home and enjoy the game. This is video sponsored by Gamigo and don't forget that Fractured Online is available on Steam and also fracturedmmo.com, an official website. So guys, I hope you got more about this game today, about Fractured Online, and some days we're gonna see with you in PvP, right? And of course, don't forget about like and subscribe to the channel. See you with you.